Today, I just want to share with you an application called Fluid. This won't be a complete walkthrough because there's a lot of stuff you can do with this application. And frankly, I don't know how to do it all. But Fluid is an application for your Mac, which allows you to create site-specific browsers, otherwise known as SSBs, for your Mac. What that is, is it creates an application on your Mac. That application is specific for the website that you create it for. It will allow you to navigate to other websites, and it does have some pretty cool features. So we're going to go check those out right now. As you see, I have Hollow up here in my menu bar. This is a SSB that I created with Fluid, and I just chose to have it up here in my menu bar so I can use Twitter. Uh, this is the mobile version of Twitter. I can just sit here and use that all day if I want. And if you look down here in my web browsers, I also have Google, which is another SSB that I created using Fluid. There's also a web browser made by the same developer that's just like a web browser, only it contains all the features of Fluid, and it also has Twitter built in, and that would be this one right here, cruise.app. So to create our SSB, we just want to put in our URL. We're going to create one for Facebook. So you just put in your URL, you name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine Facebook. By default, it will save it to your Applications folder. You can choose Other to choose where you want it to save it at. And you can use the website Favicon, which is the icon that comes default with your new SSB. Or you can choose Other and locate an icon that we, create, that we downloaded from the Internet. I actually have one picked out already, and I'm actually going to show you how to change the icon f using the SSB after we've already created it. So I'm going to click create just to create it. Usually it goes pretty quick. You see success. So we're just going to launch now. Now you see it's launched Facebook in its own window. I'm going to bring our address bar and our toolbar down. We just click our capsule button. Um, by default, it will not allow us to browse to other URLs. So we're going to do command comma, go to our Facebook preferences. I'm going to go into our advanced. And you see it says allow browsing to URLs matching these patterns. So any URL in here is where we are allowed to go to. We can simply click add if you want to add a new one. Do myspace.com. You want to make sure it's surrounded by the little stars. Or we can choose to disallow, kind of parental control thing. So whoever is using this SSB will not be allowed to go to these websites down here. Or we can simply choose allow browsing to any URL. So once we're done, we just close our preferences, and now we can go to, say, google.com. So if we search Google for something, say, like, Fluid, we actually have this really cool cover flow option. We can actually view the web page of each link before we click on it just by simply clicking this button up here. It brings our cover flow option up. It does take a minute for it to load each and every page. If we want to resize it, we just click and drag this up. It will refocus so we can actually read what's on the page. We can then use our arrows to navigate until we find the page that we want. And the first page was actually the page that we wanted. Let me just double click on it. And you see it's opening the page up there. We want to close our cover flow option. We just simply click that button again. So here's the website for Fluid. There will be a link in the description. It does have a couple screencasts here. I do recommend you come watch these as well. If we want to run another website, we can run another website side by side this one just by using our browser browser plugins. Now you see we have another little window open here. I just drag the cursor up to the top, brings down our address bar. We can go say to hollow.com. We can use Twitter here side by side. And we have another browser browser plugin here as well, which we can use to open up another page. And we can actually have as many browser browser plugins as we would like. When I say as many, I really do mean as many. I've tried up to 100, and it does work. And we can choose to open them where we want to open them up at. We can choose home pages for them as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and close these two. We have a site search here. It won't search the site that you're in. If you want to do that, you want to use Command F, which brings up your little search down here. And we can search the site, search it for fluid. You see it highlights fluid. And you can do that in pretty much any web browser. But up here, this is a site search, and we'll actually search in Facebook because Facebook is our SSB. So if I wanted to search for a person, say so we'll just search for an Amy. See, it, it does a Google site search for Facebook for Amy. And again, we can use our cover flow option there as well. You can actually change that if we don't want to do a site search. We can actually do a web search. And I'll do Amy again. And it simply searches Google for Amy. 
And again, we still have our cover flow. So if we want to customize our toolbars, it's the same. Any other application, we just right click and do customize toolbar. We have larger and smaller, which is uh, command plus, command minus, reload, stop, home. Our regular things here, you see we do have our browser browser plugin there, another browser browser plugin, and our thumbnail plugin. Okay, I'm going to show you now how to add more browser browser plugins. Command comma, we'll go back into our system preferences. You see there's two plugins, the browser browser plugins and the thumbnail. So if we just go to our plugins there, you see the option it's set at two. I'll just go ahead and do four for right now. So once we have that done, we just close this. We actually want to relaunch Facebook. I'm just going to use Quicksilver to do this. Now if we go into our toolbar, you see we actually have four browser browser plugins. One, two, three, and four. And they're actually down here on our custom toolbar. So we can just simply drag that one up there and it adds the other two for us. We want to customize our browser browser plugins. We just click on our browser browser plugins. We can have a home page for one, say hello.com. We can have it open up in our home page or an empty page. We can have the split pane be on the left, right, top, bottom. Or we can have a drawer pop out of the side if we'd like. I'll actually make that one a drawer just so you can see. There's a drawer there. I know a lot of people don't like drawers. But if you do like drawers, there you go. You can just run Twitter right there. And then we can open and close our drawer just like that. We'll go back and we'll change our second one as well. And we'll do, say, myspace.com. We can actually choose our user agent here as well. So if we want to use a mobile version of that website, iPod Touch, iPhone version, any version we want, it's all right here. I just keep it default. And we can choose our split pane here. We'll do one up at the down at the bottom. So now this one opens down at the bottom, and then we can run MySpace down here if we'd like. We can always cover up our pages. It's pretty cool. So now back in our settings, we can change the appearance as well. You see by default it's this gray. Um, I like the HUD black. We'll just go ahead and change it to that. You can change the window level, which we'll talk about in a minute. We're going to need to relaunch it again for the color to change. And now you see we got this beautiful HUD black up here. And we can actually embed the application to our background so that any window we open will overlay over it. And we can also have it float above all other things just by simply clicking on Facebook. We do convert to menu extra SSB is how I made the hollow one up here. Or we can do convert to embedded SSB. And it actually makes it the whole background. Any window I open up will always be in front of it. And it just keeps it full screen for us. So say if I came down here and I opened up my app cleaner, it's going to be in front of it whether I click on Facebook or not. So to change that back, we simply want to go up here to our menu bar and convert it to a normal application. It kind of sucks. It keeps it the same size as the screen. So you have to resize it yourself. Go back into our preferences. Here we also have our window level options. We can have it embedded here, or we can do floating. So if we want it to float over any application, so any other application we click on, Fluid will always be floating above it, no matter what. We can choose normal, or we can have overlay, so it'll be above the dashboard. So if I turn on dashboard, you see I still can use Fluid, even though I have my dashboard open. The dashboard is still fully operational. And when I close my dashboard or open it, I will always have fluid right there in front of my face. So I'm just going to change this to normal. We can change the opacity here as well, which is very nice. You can choose to completely hide it. I just bring it up as much as we want. 